If you have a pet, you likely know what kind of food they like, what their favorite toys are, and even who they like most in the family. But what do you know about their sexual orientation? Well, one man gave up his dog Fezco when he noticed him getting frisky with another male dog. Before we get into that, we have talked about gay penguins on the show before, like these gay dads, Elmer and Lima, who recently adopted a hatchling. Now, according to experts, many pets do show signs of homosexuality and often show behavior to establish dominance. But sexuality in most domesticated animals is possible, or impossible rather, to determine because they are inherently not monogamous. However, homosexuality has been identified in more than 1,500 other species, including penguins, like we mentioned, also elephants and dolphins. So now that we have that all established, okay, those are the facts. The dog Fezco is being rehomed, but should his former owner be able to adopt another dog? Also, have you ever thought about your pet's sexual orientation? No. <laughs> What? No. no. It's never crossed my mind. Yeah. I, I don't, but I mean, what does it say about this owner that he took it back because he thought that that's... That's horrific. It's, it's, it's terrible, but I mean, it's something, is this something, Tori, you're into animals? Is this something that is discussed on the message boards that you're on? Oh, first of all, on the forums, absolutely. This is nasty. Because really? what else will he do, put a dog back for? The dog didn't do anything wrong. The dog was being a dog. First of all, it looked fabulous, and I hope it gets a new home. So I would like a little mark to be saying this guy is a total trash bag, but I will say on the other other side of it. <laughs> A dog, I don't know, the unconditional part of a dog has nothing to do for me with sexual orientation. It's such a comfort, it's such a guide, it's such a loving creature, and sex never came into it for me. I mean, maybe it did for others, but even if it did, I wouldn't put my dog away or yeah, take my dog. Be, he should not be allowed yeah. to adopt it's another a nasty dog. nasty thing Because to do. if it's not going to fit in his ideology, obviously this guy is homophobic. Yeah, and he's, he's irrational. Reach, right, and what else is he irrational about? Totally. I mean, what do you want me to say? Yeah, yeah. You don't have yeah. dogs. No, it's but weird. I mean, I'm not going to saw down my tree because my dog humped it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's weird. It's, this guy's a weirdo. What are we it's, doing? It's very, it's a very strange story, but I think unfortunately it's more common than you think. I think people are still so weird <laughs> about homosexuality in 2022 that this is a story that we're still covering. So hopefully, you know, as we move forward, we'll get better. But it's, I think it's more of an indictment on the owner, obviously, than the dog. Mm -hmm. I like in my ear while you were talking to go one. Yeah. yeah. And I was like. <laughs> I think we got oh, it. God. I think we got it. Well, this guy's as, a weirdo. I was going to say, as a oh. former, he signed the petition. As a former dog owner, is that me? As a current, former. current dog owner. Oh I said current, current dog former. owner. Has, is this something that you've ever observed with your pets? Well, first of all, we used to have five cats mm -hmm. and we used to have baby. We did lose baby and we did lose kitty. We still have rem the remaining cats. Shout out to baby and kitty. Shout out yeah. to baby. Absolutely. Baby was Al the made best. the most beautiful book, a baby for me. Oh. And I should bring it in one day. I think that is honest to God. Probably if my house burnt down, I would run in, of oh. course, with my oh, kids and my same. animals, but grab that book. Hey, Honestly, no, thank you. That dog's But awesome. no, I, you know, Kit Kat, my cat, and, you know, Anthony, our producer, can attest to this. I did feel like Kit Kat might be. I don't want to disrespect. So right. I'm like afraid to even like compare an animal sexuality with a human. More sexuality. fluid, maybe. But I did. Me and Anthony both felt like Kit Kat was more fluid. More yeah. fluid. That makes sense. But yeah. animals lick themselves. Like, <laughs> how do you know? How do you even know what's going if on? If you do see a kind of humping, or is it really what they think is sexual is actually a dominance thing a lot of the time. But yes. if you do see, oh, this my dog loves male dogs and always goes and do do that. Well, sometimes it's a demeanor thing. Sure. Like I feel like yes. Yes. Some, some of them might you know be female gender wise, but they kind of present themselves a lot more male. And it's more dominant. In, yes. in the animal world, it's just more dominant. Yes. So I wonder if this story's real. Thing. Is this story real? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Go the dog's forms. getting a lot of love. A yes. lot of love. And a uh, big difference between gender and sexuality. I just want to say that. All right. We'll be right back.